Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm so excited to have you leaning in and connecting with us. In June, we've been focused on, we're calling it the Summer Star Series. So we've been exploring how can we step forward and really shine, really become the star that we are sharing our brilliance and our gifts out in the world. Sometimes we have a tendency to shrink back a little bit or kind of do what we've always always done instead of remembering to purposefully step forward and share our gifts to be mindful in that and today we're going to be talking about how to unlock your potential so ways that you can move forward and share your gifts share your talents so you can have the impact you are wanting to have in your life both for yourself as well as for the lives of those that you touch so this is a really exciting show excited to have you joining us today, but I want you to get the most out of our time together. So I'm going to encourage you to be mindful, be present, open to receive. This is your time. You said yes to you. You leaned in. You connected in today. That means there is something here for you. And I want you to receive everything that is waiting to be opened in our conversation today. So those of you who are driving, please stay safe. Both hands on the wheels, eyes open, just inwardly tuning in. But those of you who are able to, I'm going to invite you to sit back in your chair. Feel it supporting you. Put both feet on the floor. Take a deep breath in through your nose. See how big you can make your belly? That means you're taking the breath all the way in and out through your mouth like through a straw. Beautiful. Eyes closed. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head. Taking a deep breath. This helps us connect in, become fully present. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. Make sure to keep breathing. You're absolutely safe. This type of breathing actually not only brings you more present and focused and grounded, it actually reduces stress, lowers cortisol levels, brings oxygen to every cell in your body, which also helps you receive and process on a higher level. So keep breathing. And as we're exploring unlocking your potential, sharing out the gift of who you are, what is it that you need today? What is it that will encourage you, empower you, help you move forward? What is it that you need today? Just receive that information. Don't overthink. (laughs) Receive the answer and the information. It can come in a picture, a phrase, a memory, a song, a scent. All of our senses can be used. Receive that information. And then let me add an additional layer. So not only is it what you are willing to receive, I'm sorry, what is it that you need? But I'm adding that layer on. What is it that you are willing to receive? There is a willingness that ties into that. See if it shifts your answer a little bit about what you need and are willing to receive. Beautiful. Come back into the room. Fully present, eyes open. Beautiful. And I invite you to write it down, what it is that you need, what was brought to your attention that you need and are willing to receive. Go ahead and write that down. It's so easy to get distracted, to forget, to move on to other things. And I want to invite you to keep it fully present, top of mind, so that you can receive everything that is here for you. Wonderful. Let's take a breath. 
Wonderful. And I'm going to go around our virtual room. We have a powerful guest that has joined us today, Dagmar Fleming. And Dagmar, I'm going to more formally introduce you a little bit later on, but I would love for you to share just heart to heart when we stopped and paused for a moment. What was laid on your heart? Just about 30 seconds that we can share with our listeners today. Well, hello, Rebecca. It is such a pleasure to be here. And what came through to me is that we're not alone uh, in this journey, that we are truly co-creating together. So it's such a pleasure to be uh, talking with you and creating a better reality, not just for you and me, but for all the listeners who are tuning in today and later on. Beautiful. And I just want to take a moment to breathe that in. Thank you for sharing. And what a beautiful beautiful reminder that we are not alone and we get to co-create and it's happening right now as we connect in we're co-creating our reality we're co-creating what we're bringing forward in this world and every one of us is part of that as we connect in so let's breathe that in wonderful and I think for myself, what's being laid on my heart is how beautiful and rich it is to be able to connect with each and every one of you. I just find it such a a rich blessing to have each of you in my life and that we get to be on this journey together. And so I want to thank you for the gift of you the gift of Dagmar, the gift of each of you tuning in and being part of our journey. So thank you for being you, being willing to be part of this journey. So there's this thankfulness that is something I'm feeling very deeply as well. And continuing on with really wanting you to get the most out of our time together, I'm going to encourage you to stay present. As we go into this first commercial break, what it really is, it's a pause. It's a moment just for you. These two minutes, as commercials are playing in the background, are an opportunity for you to process and integrate real time what's being spoken into your heart and spirit. So I invite you to resist the urge to go cross things off your to-do list and stay present. Richly receive everything that is here for you and that we will be sharing as we go through our time together today. So enjoy these two minutes and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Voice America Women. Your passion starts here. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. For women, the pressure to achieve is stronger, the work hours longer, and the struggle for respect and authority more complex than ever. You want guidance on how to succeed, and you are not alone. You're invited to take your coffee break with Game Changers on Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern for our special series, Game Changing Women. Powerful women leaders will help you make sense of it all, analyze how you can change the game, and share their playbooks. Game Changing Women, presented by SAP on the Business Channel. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America.
You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you gave yourself the opportunity to stop and pause and really integrate what was being spoken into your heart and spirit. I find so often we get so busy in the day-to-day life, it kind of runs us sometimes and we'll forget to do that stopping and pausing and integrating and purposely choosing what we continue to move forward in our day. So I celebrate you leaning in, being part of our conversation, and choosing to continue to move forward on those things that matter most to you. Now, we're going to be having a beautiful conversation with Dagmar as um, she shares a little bit of how we can unlock our potential. And I want to more formally introduce her. You got to hear a bit of our heart in our first segment here. And I wanted to share just a little bit more about her so you know the perspective and place that she is coming from. So Dagmar is a global businesswoman, an entrepreneur, an executive and highly executive coach and highly intuitive healer with over 20 years experience in business management, consulting and speaking. And she's absolutely passionate about helping you achieve your business and financial goals. In fact, she says your audacious business and financial goals. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Dagmar Fleming to the show. Welcome. Whoa, Rebecca, I am so excited to be here with you. So thank you. Thank you for inviting me. You are so welcome. Excited to have you joining us as well. I echo that. And I'm looking forward to our conversation. Um, I would love for, actually, I want to share a little bit about how we met. Are you okay with that? Absolutely, please. Okay. One of the things that when I'm at conferences or events, I always want to be open to sitting where I'm called to sit and connecting with who I'm called to connect with. And I never feel like it's an accident who ends up sitting down um, next to me with, because of that intention being set. And at a conference last year, I met Dagmar. She sat at my table and we both felt like it was a connection meant to be. We got to connect deep throughout that conference and I've really appreciated knowing you the wisdom that you've shared and excited now to share you with all of our listeners around the world so welcome 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 thank you there are no accidents I agree with that Exactly, exactly. Now, I love to start our conversation with why. Why is this work of helping people achieve their goals, work through blocks? Why, why is that personally so important to you? Well, Rebecca, early in my life, I've realized that I have a unique gift to see people for who they can be and not who they are currently or what they are telling me that they are. Mm. In other words, to see what's possible for them without these artificial limitations, fears, and blocks that they place on themselves. So I am truly passionate about helping them fulfill that potential because as you will notice and as we talk, I believe that every single person is tremendously unique. And that uniqueness is a gift. So if every person can allow themselves to simply live the life of their dreams, live the life of their potential, fulfill their life purpose, then we will change the entire consciousness of this planet. It, yes. the, way, the way I explain that, if you walk into a cave that's very dark, it may be daunting. But it takes just one little candle to light the entire space. And that yes. candle is you. So if yes. you can shine the light, if you can fulfill your potential, you will uplift every single person together with you. And that Beautiful. is what I am committed to. Wonderful. And listeners, I want to give you a moment to just process that. 
and that beautiful vision that you can be a part of being that one light lifting to your full potential and and willing to share that and Dagmar I'm just thinking you know what what a gift to be able to see people's potential and help them see it I'm assuming that's part of it too that you help help them see it what they can step into and do fully should they choose to um, I'm curious on uh, is, is it okay if I ask you some questions that are not on the Absolutely, list. yes. Okay. Absolutely. I just, I, I'm, I'm very curious about something. <laughs> please, <laughs> I, please do. Okay, I want to ask permission. So my, my question is, is that ever um, frustrating or a challenge sometimes when you can see the potential of where they could be, um, but they're having trouble seeing it or maybe they're not always ready? How, how do you deal with that? Do you find that frustrating? Do you find it exciting? I'm just curious. Well, first, I find it very exciting because mm-hmm. when uh, my clients or people that I work with tell me about what's holding them back, um, I hear beyond that. Mm-hmm. I I can see the the real them that's hiding behind the the clothing that they put over their body metaphorically Mm. and yes sometimes it's frustrating because I would love to just shake them and say if you could only see what's underneath buried deeply uh, within you um, and and I want to speed up the process but I've learned that we all grow at the right speed and an appropriate um speed for us and I have to respect that because that's part of the journey part of that unlocking the potential beautiful well thank you for sharing I've always kind of wondered about that I I know for myself sometimes I can see uh, the potential for people and sometimes um, I can be so enthusiastic (laughs) that (laughs) I, I don't always remember to slow down and kind of honor honor their process in in the journey so I love that you are so aware of that and so able to honor the pace that they need to go and step into the potential I think that's really really beautiful I'm always reminded that all is well in all creation everything Mm -hmm. is appropriate and we just have to allow ourselves to be on this journey and enjoy it as it unfolds because yes. truthfully we will never stop growing we will never reach the potential as we unlock one the door to the other opportunity opens that was never there before so my advice is let's just get on that train and enjoy the ride <laughs> i love that <laughs> <laughs> enjoying the train and the ride all along the way that's right that's right (laughs) now for sometimes we can feel like we're repeating the same thing and and kind of running up against the the same challenge you know week after week we can feel like we're kind of hitting this block or month after month or maybe this june looks a lot like last june despite (laughs) all of the plans and visions that we have and and sometimes in our industry we'll call this being stuck you know, it's it's kind of stuck. We're not able to move past this place or this way of being in these situations. So it feels familiar. I was wondering what other indicators might be an indication that, that we're stuck. And then we'll, in a little bit, share some hopes and suggestions around that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, we see people get stuck in many different ways. You know, the overt sign, uh, the immediate notice will be your sad you're disappointed, frustrated. Uh, many people experience repeated money problems, or they seem to be always passed over for a promotion, no matter what job they hold. So it seems like they know what they want, but the their reality doesn't reflect those dreams, and their life starts slowly reflecting a grand hog day, like from the movie. Mm, yes. You know, how many times you've heard your friends say they wanted a different partner after their last split, and they ended up with the new partner who's a spit image of the last one, right? Mm, yes. So we seem to be falling into these old patterns and fight ourselves in the process, trying so hard to change, but we are attracting what we do not want. Yes. That usually tells me that y- you are stuck, and we need to look deeper, because we're having a blind spot. I mean, let's exactly. face it. We all have a blind spot when we are driving, right? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and and we can't see our own issues. Usually, take somebody on the outside, like a friend or, or mother or, or or a colleague, to bring the perspective to us where we seem to be hitting the same roadblock over and over again. Yep. Well, and and listeners, I I just want to give them a moment to digest because uh, especially when we're having a blind spot or it can be a little tender, we're easy. It's easy to miss. (laughs) So, uh, Listeners, just take a moment and see what's resonating with what she's sharing with us about indicators of ways to recognize there might be a blind spot in your life or in somebody else's that we keep recreating somehow ending up in the same situation, the same relationship. Um, being overlooked like how you're saying for promotion no matter what job you do it feels like you, it feels like you kind of keep coming up against that or not being seen or not being heard um, no matter how much you're trying and the different things you're doing and that that can be an indicator of a blind spot um, it's not something to criticize ourselves about or, or beat ourselves up about but um, recognizing there might be a blind spot and that you can get support in that so I'm just going to give you a moment to process in and see and, and actually let's Dagmar, let's let's give them a moment i just want them mm-hmm. to be able to process and and feel in and just see um it's really easy to distract ourselves and mess and just recognize if there are some patterns that you're recognizing great and then Dagmar, i would love for you to share a little bit about how we might be able to move through or um, step a little bit more into our potential if we're recognizing some of these things? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's hard to get out of our own way because people get what they focus on. And Mm -hmm. let's face it, most Mm -hmm. of us look through the rear view window. And I always say you can't steer your car forward by looking backward. Mm -hmm. Um, But most people get locked into their past traumas, past hurts, those negative experiences, like when uh, you were in school and maybe you were reciting a poem in front of a class and suddenly every kid started laughing at you. And guess what? Today, you're locked into that experience. Every time you need to get on a stage, your heart beats faster, you're afraid of being rejected and laughed at again. So you decide not to do it. So essentially, you've limited yourself Mm -hmm. because of that past experience. That past experience is controlling today what you can or cannot do. And well, uh, and and we are getting ready to to go to commercial break, so I'm going to make it a little bit of a cliffhanger here. <laughs> mm. um, so, listeners, as we go into our next commercial break, I want to encourage you to think about this, and perhaps there are some experiences in the past that um, at 10 years old, 12 years old, five years old, whatever the age, that is actually limiting some of what we are doing today. And as we come back from this next commercial break we're going to be sharing some of the ways that you can move forward and navigate through that so that it's not continuing to um, hold you back and limit the potential and the gifts that you have to share with the world so enjoy these two minutes and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment This is the Voice America Women's Channel, where your success is limitless. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Relationship issues? Anxious? Parenting challenges? No more. Learn to live your best life. Tune into Straight Talk with top therapist, relationship, and anxiety expert, Sandra Reich. Learn to transform your challenges into effective solutions. Whether it's relationships, parenting, anxiety, or other traps, Sandra will show you how you can live the life of your dreams. Listen live every Thursday afternoon at 6 p.m. Eastern Time 
and 3 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog, Press Pass? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective. Plus, topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at VAPressPass.com. That's VAPressPass.com. VA Press Pass by Voice America. All access, all the time. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that break and uh, that moment in time to process and integrate what's being spoken to your heart and spirit, and particularly around these things that can be these blind spots and sometimes where they can come from. And so I promised as we went to our, our next commercial break there that when we came back, we would be sharing about some of what you can do if you discover that you have some of these blind spots, or maybe you're not even sure why you're having that reaction um, and you're not able to show up as you want to show up in a space. Sometimes um, we can even have these patterns so Doug might be interested in in knowing if you've observed this too. I'll observe where um, last minute somebody will keep being sick and there's or keep having an emergency but it becomes a pattern when they're coming up against um, like their edge of, of visibility or showing up on stage or in different ways and and um, sometimes they're not even able to see it because every time there is this emergency or reason, they're not able to show up and they kind of go back into this hiding. So I'm curious if you've seen that as well and then would love to have you give us support around this. What can we do if we're noticing some of these things about ourselves? Well, unfortunately, uh, Rebecca, we tend to sabotage ourselves all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's because of that little voice in our head that tells us what we can or cannot do. And guess what? Most of the time, that voice is not even yours. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many of you were born with parents? I'm asking (laughs) the listeners. I imagine they're all saying wild yes. (laughs) <laughs> and l- let's face it, have your parents talked? Yes, they did. And they said these things like, um, you know, steady paycheck with a corporation is better than venturing out and starting your own business. Or they said it takes money to make money. Being a lawyer is better than being an artist. So today, what you heard when you were growing up is making you believe that you can or cannot do certain things. And perhaps uh, when it's time for you to shine, you're not ready for it. You're afraid. You don't believe you can do it. So you fall back on what you've heard before, uh, on those old beliefs, and you end up just sabotaging that possibility. Yeah. And and what's nice about that is sometimes we're, we're blaming ourselves and there can be all different kinds of people that have spoken into us and teachers and just all different kinds of people along the way um, and coming from a beautiful place as they're sharing into us and then sometimes how we hear it or we interpret it or what it ends up becoming or meaning to us can um, stick, stick in a way that holds us back. 
Yeah, it, it's very unfortunate, but most of our self-perception has been encoded before you were even age of seven. So very early childhood. And let's face it, at that point, we are just absorbing everything that's being said around us without any context. And we misinterpret that information. So that becomes the reflection of how we perceive ourselves moving forward. This childhood conditioning essentially is what keeps us stuck in that continuous loop. And I'm not saying that your parents uh, meant something wrong. They were <laughs> probably wonderful people. Uh, but but we listened. We couldn't understand the bigger picture. And, uh, you know, maybe your uh, parents said, don't jump. And what she meant is you're little. You don't know how to jump. And I want to protect you from possibly harming yourself. But today, as an entrepreneur, you're not taking risks because Mm -hmm. you remember don't jump and you remembered to be fearful instead of taking that step forward. With excitement and exploration, even I'm thinking and (laughs) wanting to feel the sensation of jumping and and all the whole journey, enjoying that journey. Oh, Mm -hmm. I I feel like we've done a really um, rich job of of sharing some of how this can show up in our lives and some of where it comes from. And I'd love for us to share a little bit of um, how we can become unstuck, how we can Mm -hmm. more fully step into our potential if we discover some of these things are going on. Absolutely. So this is where we have to go a little bit deeper and understand why we are stuck. And it's very simple. We are... uh, beings of layers. Um, I usually explain that uh, using an image of a plant. Mm -hmm. If the plant is dying, most people will try to fix it by (laughs) watering it or putting some fertilizers. But often the plant continues to die. And it's the same thing with human beings. Let's say you're trying to lose a weight. What do women do first? They stop eating, right? Mm-hmm. So, so in other words, we're trying to change our conscious behavior like watering the plant. But let's face it, it rarely works, which is why the uh, weight loss industry is doing so well, right? Mm-hmm. So what's the best next thing? Well, a lot of people will go into these affirmations like, I eat healthy, I eat healthy, I eat healthy. So it's like fertilizing the plant's roots, like fertilizing your subconscious mind. But that still doesn't work because what hasn't changed is that those emotional and blocks that made you eat more to begin with are buried deep within you. Like the plant, like the soil that that plant is in. It's acidic, full of toxins, full of old stuck energies from your past. Mm -hmm. I call them imprints of your emotional and mental blocks. So to move forward, we have to look at the past, heal it, release it. Let's remove these toxic energies that are holding us in an emotional and mental lockdown. Yes. And, And that's a first step. Well, and I'm just really, I, I've recently taken up gardening. So any of our listeners who've been <laughs> listening with us for a while know I'm discovering all these amazing things. Who knew? <laughs> you know, I, I've learned That's all right. kinds of things about growing things. And it all starts with the soil. It, it does. And the roots start first, generally. And different plants, the roots are more involved and deeper versus others. Some spread out more. They need a different size pot for different kinds of plants. And you're absolutely right. Sometimes it could be root bound, like it needs a new plant. Or there could be rocks that are blocking the little roots so they can't grow, which will limit what happens on the surface that we see. So I, I personally love this picture that Mm -hmm. you've given us and that perhaps there are more than one way to approach it (laughs) not just water not just soil but actually going deep and see what's going on underneath Mm -hmm. and the truth is that we are living in a self-imposed prison of beliefs that were given to us by the the authority figures when we were Mm -hmm. growing up Mm -hmm. and it's wonderful they were needed at that time for our survival but today I encourage every listener to look at what they believe believe, and ask themselves, do these statements, self-perceptions and beliefs 
work for me? Mm-hmm. Are they supporting my growth? Yes. Are they helping me fulfill my potential? And if not, give yourself full permission to change them. Because we get so stuck in those old beliefs that were passed through generations, through religion, through culture, that we stop questioning whether they are working for us. Mm. So go ahead, examine your beliefs and say, I'm discarding this one. Delete button, like on a computer. Mm -hmm. Delete, delete, delete. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. But it's hard to delete if we're not looking at it and seeing what areas, because we don't want to throw out everything. It's it's really kind of looking at um, what no longer serves. I love this, kind of taking a look, asking those questions, reflecting, and then delete as it makes sense and and no longer serves and I know that you have put together an amazing gift and so I wanted to give an opportunity for you to share a little bit about it listeners I promise I'll let you know where to find it but I want her to describe it to you first to see if this gift and it truly is a gift from her heart to yours um, to support you so please share a little bit about it. Absolutely. So many times when I work with people, I realize that the first area that they notice where they're stuck is their financial uh, problems. Mm -hmm. And we all have this, uh, these beliefs around the money and the income potential that dictate today what we can or cannot earn. So I've created a video series that will teach you about these unconscious mistakes that you make that keep you from making the money that you want and you deserve and you should have. So that's that's where I invite everybody to let's get nitty gritty and find out why are you sabotaging your financial success. Beautiful. So this will be where they can get started and hopefully start shifting through that as well. Um, so thank you for, for making this gift available. And I love that it's video because then that gives people both audio and visual, depending on what type of learners they mm-hmm. are, to um, work through this area. And finances can be a tender space. So I appreciate you meeting people right at that place and supporting them. So thank you. For, for making this generous gift available. And listener, listeners, I want to let you know where to access it. So one, there's no cost to say yes to this gift. It truly is a gift from her to you to support you in this area. Uh, we have a beautiful library that we've created of resources and gifts that our amazing experts share. And every week there are new gifts being added, like the gift that Dagmar just described. So how you access them is you go to radio gifts with an S dot net. So radio gifts with an S because it's multiple gifts, radio gifts dot net, a net full of multiple gifts. You put in your name and email address so we can stay in touch. And then you scroll down to today's date, which is June 12th. And you will see Dagmar's beautiful picture, description of her gift. And you can click yes. You'll put your name and email address in again so that she can uh, stay in touch with you as well as send you that gift. And you can stay a while, peruse the library, say yes to as many things there as will support you on your journey. They are there to walk beside you because as we open the show, there was that reminder, and I think that's beautiful, Dagmar, it was laid on your heart, that we are not alone in this journey. We get to co-create it together. And her gift is a powerful way to do that in the area of finances because as you were saying, that's frequently a place where this will show up that we're kind of coming up against ourselves and have some blocks. Mm-hmm. So, listeners, Money is usually we, a smokescreen. Yes, and um, we'll talk about that when we come back, but we are going to commercial break, so I'm going to encourage you to take a moment, process and integrate what is being shared into your heart and spirit, and I invite you to take a look at radiogifts.net, and when you come back, we have some additional exciting information to support you before you go back out into the world. We'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. The Voice America Women's Channel. 
announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. We're making it easier to listen to the Voice America Talk Radio Network wherever you go. In addition to listening live, you can check out information about your favorite talk show hosts, discover new talk show personalities, add shows to your list of favorites, and listen to all of our show archives on demand, all from your iOS, Amazon Kindle, or Android device. Download it from the Apple App Store, Amazon, or Google Play, and get ready to tune in. The Voice America mobile app, powered by Aircast. The Voice America Women's Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1 866 613 1612. That's 1 866 613 1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you really gave yourself the opportunity to process, breathe, and integrate what is being shared on your heart and into your spirit and kind of speaking to you. Uh, we do want to remind you of that beautiful resource, that library, Radio Gifts with an S dot net. A wonderful library of resources to support you on your journey because it is not a solo journey and we also have another resource i'd like to make available to you as well and it's a tv network we have a tv network rhg tv you do have to put the word network so rhg tv network.com and you'll find powerful positive programming and shows that are free to watch and play on demand and support you on your journey you'll find both both audios and recordings, as well as visual and television programming. So if you are really embracing that you are not alone, want that ongoing support, we'd love to have you join us each week here. But I also wanted to make sure you were aware of the RHG TV network as well. And before we went to our last break there, um, Dagmar just shared that you know money can be a smoke screen for many things and I wanted to make sure we talked about that and how that ties into our conversation today so Dagmar I'd love to have you share mm-hmm. the reason I chose money uh, as an opening conversation is because we use money as an excuse to keep ourselves small to hide from going after those big dreams. Some people want to travel around the world and they will say, I don't have money. So therefore they never leave the house. The truth is you can travel, you can organize a camping trip. Um, And there are numerous examples in which money becomes an excuse to keep ourselves small. So if we can uncover why you do it, then we can release that excuse and allow you to step forward and experience the life you should be experiencing it. I always say, so, mm-hmm. and so what I'm what I'm hearing is it sounds like that what will be uncovered actually impacts many facets of our life, not just the financial piece, but that sometimes where we'll recognize it impacting us. Is that a correct Absolutely. understanding? Beautiful. Now, money, money is just a conversation that leads us to the real issue. Beautiful. Oh, 
how valuable this would be not only for where it may be impacting you financially and where you're seeing it show up, but it actually will, the roots go deep (laughs) into a lot of areas affecting a lot of the growth um, in our lives and what we're bringing forward. So thank you that I appreciate that you're um, starting at a conversation place where we recognize it <laughs> so that we are able to enter in and get support. And I think it's beautiful that it can impact so many different areas. And as we get ready to bring our time together to a close, it's just been a joy to have you on the show today. I thank you for, for being here, Dagmar. And oh, absolutely. Sh- just sharing. My pleasure sharing so deeply and richly and generously providing a gift I wanted to see if there was a final parting thought or um, advice or a rem- tip that you wanted to share with the listeners today that they can really take with them as they go back out into the world mm-hmm. my message is for you to try the ice cream and what I mean by that release yourself from influence of others and allow yourself to live the life that you want to live Because the truth is there is only one way to know what the ice cream tastes like. You have to put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Nobody can taste it and tell you what the flavor is. So your life belongs to you. It's your ice cream. Go and get it. Thrive and fulfill your potential. Mm. I love that. And I was thinking here in, in the States, we're starting to have these warmer days and we've gotten yes. up into the, the 90s, some so places, you know. triple digits. So <laughs> ice cream sounds so delicious. Yes, especially here in Texas where I am. Why do you think I'm thinking about it? <laughs> I love it. So you can try the ice cream. No one can describe it for you. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, listeners, as we go back out into the world, I want you to remember what an amazing gift you are. There is nobody else just like you with your gifts, your talents, the way you're made, even how you look at things and experience things. And we can become that light in the darkness. We don't need to worry about all the other lights, what all people are doing or not doing. But we can really focus in on what we can do today and choose to shine our light on purpose and with purpose in a way that is uniquely how each of you are made, uniquely how I'm made. We have that opportunity to light our candle and shine it into the darkness. And as we do that, it can light up the world around us, life by life, heart by heart. So my desire for you is you go back out into the world. I want you to take what has spoken to you richly that you have breathed in and processed and integrated today. Bring that forward. Be willing to shine your light so that wherever you go, whatever you do, may you always choose to bloom where you're planted and shine. Have an amazing week, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.